Today I'm meeting with Andrea to talk about one of my passions, cheesecake. cheesecake. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Andrea Brian Garner and I'm a home cook, but I do have a, a page on Facebook called Sweet Sensations by Andrea. I started baking mostly for friends and family and then as word got around the persons realized that you know the stuff that Andrea makes tastes really good and they would like some of it too so I normally bake to order based on whatever people see um, I even had something called tasty Tuesdays where every Tuesday I would bake some little treat and go deliver it so but it's very small and I kind of like to keep it that way because that maintains the quality and, and and uh, the little fan <laughs> base that I have. Um, in terms of my cheesecake, well, I've, I've been making cheesecake for quite a number of years now. It actually started when I was working at a restaurant and um, my boss at the time wanted to sell cheesecake that was made in-house and so we experimented and when we finished it tasted so great that um, you know he shared it with the staff and so on and it was a hit and so I, I continued making cheesecake after then and uh, persons normally say it's the best cheesecake that they've tasted so I'd have to go with their word for it I think the secret ingredient is that I bake with lots of love <laughs> alright so introduce me to us your cheesecake this okay. particular yes uh, well this cheesecake rendition. Um, I did three different flavors there it has a strawberry topping it has a sorrel topping and a tangerine topping which is pretty new um, actually I only made it today as, as something different to, to add to your palate and so I hope you enjoy. I made the sorrel and the tangerine myself but the strawberries. Oh so point out for me which one is the sorrel which is the tangerine? This is the sorrel, this is tangerine, this is strawberry and the, and the plain, plain, yes, plain cheesecake. So Andrea tell me about your particular brand of cheesecake. What are the ingredients that you use? Well, without giving away the secret recipe, um, which I probably need to put in a vault or something, I usually use the simplest of ingredients and I try to keep it as pure as possible. I mean, a cheesecake basically has cream cheese, um, sugar, eggs, some flavorings, and of course a dash of love and so on. Some people add sour cream and different additives, but I try to keep it basic and simple and I think that that blends to making sure that it has, you know, you get all of the flavors and all the taste gel. Also in terms of method, it's something that you can't bake quickly, so you have to keep it on a, a very... So your cheesecake is big, it's not like chilled, it's it's, oh. it's not raw. No, 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 it's not raw, it's a baked cheesecake. I mean, some people do know baked cheesecake, but those are like the box kind that you would just um, throw together with milk and put in the in the refrigerator for hours. But no, mine is baked with eggs. And how do you make the toppings? What kinds of um, what, well, the, what goes into the, the toppings? toppings? I really like to add a Guyanese flavor with it, so that's why I did the sorrel and the tangerine. And for the sorrel, I actually use the after making sorrel drink, which is a good wash down for cheesecake. Um, I use the petals of the sorrel after boiling up with all the flavors and so on. So nothing goes to waste. I blend it or puree those leaves um, after straining off the liquid which makes the sorrel drink. And then I add sugar, a little lemon juice and you just make a reduction out of that until it comes to a nice um, gel-like consistency. You can even add some thickeners if it's not thick enough for you and, and that's basically it. Same thing for the tangerine. Um, tangerine is a flavor that I love even to make drinks and so on. I think it's an underutilized fruit so hopefully um, you'll enjoy those flavors. So tell me about your t-shirt. Oh yes, uh, apart from my baking skills, I also have a company called, uh, a small business called Novelties where I make um, t-shirts with custom uh, themes or anything that you might come up in your mind that you want to display. So this one is Pep Pot 
black cake and blackout, which I think I think are things that are synonymous with, with being Guyanese. That's a funny <laughs> take on Guyanese life. Yeah, and it's actually all things black too because that part is black, uh, black cake and blackout. We have a lot of darkness. So <laughs> that's why I wore this t-shirt today because I'm a big I'm a big patriotic person. I believe that, you know, as Guyanese, we need to embrace our Guyanese-ness a lot more. So that's why you see me doing things like the sorrel and tangerine and always putting a Guyanese uh, spin to things that I do. So one of my cheesecake stories, I am a cheesecake fanatic. One of my cheesecake stories is that I always take my dates out for cheesecake. So there was this time in New York when I took this girl out to Junior's for cheesecake. And after we had the cheesecake, she wouldn't really let me know if she liked it or how good it was. But the next day, she called me to tell me that she had found another cheesecake outlet for juniors at Times Square. And therefore, she didn't need me to get cheesecake anymore. And I never had another date with her. <laughs> oh my god. But yes, I am a cheesecake fanatic. And what I'm going to do now is taste this cheesecake. Is this the That's sorrel? the sorrel one. This is the sorrel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to taste the sorrel. Mm -hmm. Take a bite and I get some sorrel and cheesecake. Mm. Mm hmm. Definitely Guyanese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is definitely a Guyanese flavor. This you can never get from Junior's. Junior's is famous for its strawberry cheesecake. But this sorrel is definitely a Guyanese flavor. And when you put it with cheesecake, it makes it quintessentially a Guyanese product. You can never get this anywhere else in the world. So I love this Andrew. This is great. Thank you. Wait till you taste the tangerine. So I'm going to take a bite of the tangerine. Which one is the tangerine? The yellow one. Okay, I'm going to get some of the topping mm -hmm. and some of the cheesecake. Hmm. Uh -huh. You definitely have tangerine flavor. This is not artificial flavor. This is mm -hmm. real tangerine. So you get I the, squeeze the tangerines myself. You get the <laughs> acid and you get the flavor, the citrus flavor. And it, great, it goes well with this cheesecake which is smooth, it's also light, it doesn't leave your mouth covered with this layer of um, residue with some cheesecakes, it's so buttery that there's a residue left in your mouth. This one is clean after you've had it, it's smooth and the tangerine flavor meshes well, melds well with the cheesecake. Excellent job. Thank you, you gotta wash it down with some sorrel. So let's try the sorrel. That I made too. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Again, immediately you get the, the Guyanese flavor. It sort of hits you in your face. It's like, this is <laughs> Guyana. So the next time you're in Guyana and you want to try something like cheesecake, see cheesecake is like chocolate. Some countries are known for chocolate. You go to Denmark, you go to Switzerland. They're known for chocolate. But our flavors are this tangerine and sorrel and when we put it together with something like cheesecake it becomes something that is like an international um, delicacy just like chocolate and cheesecake is not cheap in fact it's quite expensive so I'm gonna have Andrea tell us how expensive it is to actually get the ingredients and to make this cheesecake in Guyana. Well in Guyana it's very hard to find certain ingredients especially international ingredients I mean cream cheese is not something typical in a Guyanese, um, you know, in the Guyanese cuisine, but you would find it in quite a few supermarkets and there are times when there is no cream cheese anywhere in the supermarket. I don't know, it's like maybe there's one company that's distributing it and when they're out, like nobody has any. So I've had times when I've been driving around Georgia, even out of Georgia, up to the East Bank, going to different supermarkets just to find a block of cream cheese. I, I normally use the eight ounce packet and that's about uh, 
500 about 600 dollars an eight ounce packet and that's so why that is about two dollars us yeah it's about two dollars two dollars and fifty cents and how much cheesecake would you make for that you can make anything so how much would you, one, you would how much least, would you need to make a cheesecake um, this size for this one i use about five or six eight ounce um packets so that's uh, that's just for the cream cheese alone that'd be like 2500 dollars which is about 10 11 12 dollars us yeah and then that's just one ingredient yes so you could so you could yeah multiply you could yeah. figure out that it's actually quite expensive exactly and then if you talk about toppings um the store-bought toppings if if you want to do strawberries you know to have a, a very new york style cheesecake or american style cheesecake you, you you might prefer to use blueberries or strawberries or the red cherries which are not you know right local. if you import them then it costs so a lot if, more if you use the important ones you're talking about at least two thousand dollars for a tin of topping or if you want to press strawberries that's two thousand five hundred three thousand dollars yeah that's about ten dollars so US. you're talking at least just the cost price it might be uh about 25 us just in, in cost alone so it's very expensive to make but i think after you make it and you enjoy it it's, yeah it's, it's worth, worth it, it it's exactly. worth it it definitely is a i mean treat. it's not something you're gonna eat every evening oh no you would get fat if you did that <laughs> i think that's why i'm putting out a few funks because yeah, i'm, and I'm doing the same <laughs> i'm doing the same but it's something that you treat yourself with mm -hmm. in guyana i'm gonna do a series on uh, fast food in Guyana and I have the same point to make that in Guyana fast food is not something we eat every day something it's like a treat so even though you're seeing a lot of these fast food places going up like Burger King mm -hmm. Guyanese have a tradition of eating those as a treat once in a blue moon yeah you know it's not something you do every it day and, you know, it's not gonna be a lot right it's not it's, rice and some green but we don't have the American culture of exactly. excess exactly and in terms of these toppings I think that's why it's good to have the local toppings as an option because that is in season it's easier to access and it would it'd be cheaper if you want to make your own cheesecake to use local fruits and it tastes better too because you know you can relate to those flavors all right just tell us where we can find you for Guyanese so most of my um, audience lives in New York and Toronto and mm -hmm. London and when they come to Guyana they want to be able to taste some of this mm -hmm. uh, cheesecake or some of the other things that I post on this mm -hmm. YouTube channel but how can we find you how can they find you well you can find me on Facebook just look for um, sweet Sweet Sensations by Andrea. Okay, I'll I, put the link in the description below. Yeah, I normally deliver to your home, so you know, I, I work from home, so I don't expect people to be coming here all the time to be able to taste it. I can bring it to you, so they can just order, give me like two days notice, because of course I have to go find the cream cheese if it's available in Guyana, and I'll make it and deliver it to you. Or even those persons who are... So there you have it folks, this was Andrea Brian Garner. And that was her cheesecake, her Guyanese cheese, her Guyanese take on cheesecake. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe in the comments below. Tell me what you think about cheesecake in your country, in your city. And if you will, try Guyanese cheesecake the next time you're here in Guyana. And don't forget to find Andrea on Facebook and like her page. And even if persons want to order for their family in Guyana, they can do that too. And I could deliver it if they want their family in Guyana to have a taste of it. They can do so. so. Excellent. So thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming.